Hey, what's up you guys? As you can tell, I'll be showing you how I draw semi-realistic eyes. So, of course, you first start out with the base skin color, which is kind of like peach. And I'm just using the standard round brush that Photoshop has, and I'll just be using that for the whole video. And I'll just be manipulating the hardness a little bit so that I can blend easily. Now you want to choose a darker color, but you want to make sure you go to the red hue so that the skin won't look muddy later on. So just adjusting the hardness and I'm just gonna create an eye socket, just kind of like the ones that you would see in a skull, so that you would know where the eyeball is supposed to be. And right here is the eyeball, and it's kind of like a light gray color you don't want to do white because that's just going to be too bright and here I'm just lining the eyeball out and of course you want to add the iris just kind of like any color in green is just kind of like my go-to color and since the eyelid overlaps the eyeball you want to create some shadow right there and just kind of like converting the eye socket into the shading that appears around the eyeball. Using a soft brush, you just want to choose colors in between and just start blending them together. Make sure to leave some edges hard, like on the eye bags right there, just to imply that there is a fold. It is always a great idea to have a reference with you so that you won't forget any important features of the anatomy. And I'm adding an eye fold right there and just using the multiply blending mode again with the soft brush to kind of like make that eyeshadow effect and just kind of like rendering the eyelid again so that it won't look like a line. Um, it's always very important to keep in mind that the eyeball is an actual ball. So everything, the volume and everything like that should contribute to the idea that the eyeball is a sphere. And now I'm just adding a little bit of waterline using light pink. Just using white as well to make the eyes look a little bit more watery and I'm adding the center of the iris it's kind of like rendering the iris a little bit more and right now I'm just shaping the eyebrow it's always good to keep in mind that the eyebrow starts from the edge of the nose and ends at the line implied if there were to be a winged eyeliner. If you look at beauty gurus on YouTube and makeup and things like that, you would always see that the eyebrow is shaped in a way that it ends a little bit above the line implied if there were to be eyeliner. Also, if you study makeup, you would know that you would want to have a highlight kind of like on the arch of the eyebrow. So that's kind of like one of the high points on the eye. And you also want to highlight a little bit on the inside of the eye. And I'm just kind of like shaping the eyebrow a little more with a darker color. And eyebrows always fade on the inside edge and sometimes on the outside edge too so using the airbrush i'm doing exactly that so that it won't look like a bushy eyebrow and now i'm just continuing on rendering the eye now i need to just add highlight on the iris just as shown on the reference and here I'm just kind of like experimenting on what looks good on the iris don't really have a specific step just really I'm just going to the one that 
looks the best. Now I'm adding another layer and here I am adding kind of like an eyeliner wing on a separate layer. And I'm just using a very, very small brush to add eyelashes. And here I kind of like zoomed in a little bit so I could do strands on the eyelashes. Going back to the first layer, I'm just going to render it a little bit more. And here I'm adding a highlight on the highlight and it instantly makes the eye look so much better. And sometimes you would have highlights on the inside of the inside corner of the eye, so you would want to do that as well. Looking at the reference, I'm also adding highlight on the eye bags, as you can see right there. I think at this point, I've already marked all the important highlights and shadows on the eye, so right now it's just literally trying to accentuate the shadows and the highlights. I also like to add red or orange to the skin with a multiply blending mode to make the skin look more vibrant. And at this point, you just need to keep going with accentuating the highlights and shadows and doing the things that would make it look good. So that's why it's really good to have reference with you. Here I'm just trying to figure out what looks good on the iris. Um, you can see that I'm trying to brighten it up using the overlay blending mode. Using the airbrush, I'm just trying to soften up the edges of that eyebrow right there. And I'm adding a little bit of shading for the temple just to imply volume. Using a really small size brush, I'm also adding some hair strands to the eyebrows. What I like to do is that I like to select the iris with the lasso tool and go to hue and saturation to kind of like change the color. It's a really effective way to change the color to the color that you want very very quickly. I really like to use overlay to brighten up the iris a little bit and I like to use overlay with a dark color to add a ring around the iris and sometimes I add it sometimes I don't it just depends on what looks good at the picture and you know just keep adding highlights and shadows and I used a lighter color to make that inside corner Looking at the reference, I noticed some highlights that are on the tear duct, so I used a brighter color to accentuate that. And I just selected just the eyeball so that I could add more red onto it. Sometimes I like to use a white airbrush and brush off the bottom part of the iris so that the eyeball looks more round. Using liquify, I decided to change a little bit of the shape of the eye because I was not very happy about the shape. So, and I felt like the tear duct could have been more pointed, so that's exactly what I did. And that's kind of like one of the benefits of having everything in just one layer. And I'm also doing it to the eyebrow because I felt like it could have been thicker. Just adding some more eyelashes to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm adding a little bit of highlight right there just to show where the cheekbone is. Also adding highlight on the edge of that eye right there. Here I'm at the eyelash layer. Um, just trying to make it a little bit lighter and I also lowered its opacity so that it won't look too black. And I locked its transparency and made it a little bit brown so that the eyeliner won't look too dark. I 
like to experiment with the brightness and contrast just to see what looks better on the painting and adding a little bit more highlight on the tear duct and also at the other end of the eye so that the eyeball looks more spherical. And we're pretty much done. So right now I'm just doing some housekeeping stuff. I added an adjustment layer and tried to brighten up the eyeball a little bit so that it would pop out a little bit more. And just adding more eyelashes. And of course, um, if you want to fix something, you can just go to Liquify and change the shape. Another thing I like to do is just going to Smart Sharpen to make the image look more finished. Now it's just time for finishing touches. You can use an even brighter color to accentuate the highlights a little bit more, just like what I'm doing there to the inner corners of the eye. And I was thinking that maybe some strands of the eyelash is going to catch some light. So I was using a really light gray to kind of try to do that. And I did it on a separate layer so that it would be easy to erase if I messed up. And yeah, we are now just finished with the eye. And if you want to try to accentuate some things or change the color using color balance and things like that of course you can do just that and just keep improving it until you're proud of it all right thanks so much you guys for watching this tutorial i hope it has been helpful to you please leave in the comments below of what you would like to see from me and if you want to see more of my videos you can just check out my channel make sure to subscribe and i'll be seeing you next time